What's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to show you how to flash Dewey Smart Edition 5.1, which is a JVQ base, which is uh, 2.3.4. I'll link you down in the description the XDA uh, post from Dewey. And so first of all, what we want to do is, no matter what you're on, uh, unless you're on stock, you want to disable your lag fixes. So I'm going to do that now. As you can see, no, no, no. Once you do that, reboot system now. Once that's rebooting, and it's going to be talking, so I'm just going to put this on my bed so it makes less noise. Um, I'm going to take you up to the computer to so show you what files to download. So first of all, what you want to do is uh, try and download um, several things. So as you can see, uh, Drew's made a simple uh, explanation over here. Um, and what we're going to do is uh, try to... Um, well, not try to, but we're going to get JVQ. Uh, this is stock JVQ firmware, and to get that, uh, we need to go to samfirmware.com. Go to Sam Firmware, uh, sign up to the site, go to firmware, Android, go to Android, go to i9000, sign up or log in, and then just go all the way down to the bottom of this blue thing and find JVQ. Hit download and download the file. When you go to extract it and you're about to extract it into a folder, it will ask you for a password and the uh, password is samfirmware.com. Once you get that, you'll open this file. So what we want to do is uh, get Odin 1.8, open it up and set it up for uh, flashing. So as you can see, this is JVQ, make sure the folder is right over there. So that's the PIT, we go to PDA, we go choose um, the code. For phone, we use modem. For CSC, we use CSC. As you can see, repartition gets automatically ticked in 1.8, 1.7. However, for some reason, if you're um, using 1.3, you have to manually uh, tick repartition. So that's Odin set up for you, and that's uh, stock JVQ set up as well. Another thing we want to download is um, a semaphore. A kernel um, made by Stratosk. Um, basically, this will give us uh, access to um, clockwork. Uh, it'll give us access to clockwork um, recovery. So um, this will allow us to um, flash over Dewey's uh, uh, 5.1. So what you want to do is uh, go to this post again, which I'll link down in the description, and find the 1.3.0. Dot tar post, click it and it will download. So now you've got all the required uh, files to download and all you need to do is just get your Galaxy S after it's finished uh, talking to you in robotic voices and um, flash it over. So I'll get back to you guys after uh, Voodoo has been disabled and my phone has been booted up. Right so once Voodoo has been uh, disabled uh, we can check through recovery again as you can see. Um, but what I'm going to do as well is uh, factory reset it and clear the cache and clear the Dalvik. This ensures that I get a clean install and it makes sure that I don't get any problems. Obviously you don't have to do this because probably Odin uh, with ticked repartition will probably do it for you. But I'd rather do it just again just to be sure. Now I'm going to uh, clear the cache. And then clear the Dalvik cache as well. Right, once that's done you can power off. Either you can power off like that, or another way of doing it is just pulling out the battery. So there you go. Now we want to go into download mode, so we're going to go down, home, and power. And we're going to connect our uh, phone in. Remember, we've already set up Odin, so Odin will pick it up straight away. As you can see right there, Odin has already picked it up, and we've got our files in there already uh, for flashing JVQ stock. So you can make sure, obviously, if you want, but I know it's there, so I'm just going to flash it over. So in about three minutes, I'll get back to you guys, and after JVQ is finished. Right, so once you've booted up, uh, just go down to United Kingdom, well, whatever you're, you're in, just go through setup, basically. And Odin took me 2 minutes and 57, so there we go, I'm going to choose Virgin. And I'm going to show you that I'm on GVQ, so this is stock JVQ, as you can see. And uh, now what we're going to do is uh, put the kernel on. 
So um, we have to go through Odin because this is not rooted. Uh, although we could root it quite easily by going market, but I find it it's actually quite easy to go through Odin. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, power off, and um, we're going to go back to Odin over here. As you can see, everything's passed. And what we're going to just do is hit the reset button. Once you hit reset, everything disappears. Go to PDA and um, find the uh, .tar file that you want to flash. So obviously it's this one. Open that and it's going to add it there. Make sure that repartition is not ticked. And that's my phone just vibrating saying it's off. Uh, and there's my phone. It's black as it is. Go into download my download mode. Sorry. Pressing down as we did before, connect it in, it'll come up with Odin right there, and uh, we just flash away. So now this will add the uh, kernel uh, uh, semaphore, and there we go, very quick, very easy. So now I'm going to go back to the phone, and what we're going to do now is uh, put uh, the ROM into the um, SD card, the internal SD card. Right, so once that's done, we're gonna quit that, unplug. I'm gonna show you this is what you should show. There you go. As we can see, it's properly being flashed and we're in JVQ. And um, so, what we're gonna do now is enable USB debugging mode if it isn't already. You just have to double check. There we go. Enable it. And then connect your phone in. Let's get rid of that auto rotate. Right, and then it's going to pop up on your PC. On your PC, you're going to want to, obviously, as you can see in the background, I'm trying to download um, uh, 5.1, and this is the no wipe version. Uh, how that's the one which is just available at the moment. Um, but wipe or no wipe, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can easily wipe if we want, and uh, we can do that by, as uh, Julie says, formatting the data. So it's quite easy to uh, have a wipe version anyway. So uh, that's no problem. So I'll get back to you guys after this is downloaded. And um, what I'm going to also do is, as you can see, this is my internal SD card currently. And I'm going to wipe that as well. Uh, to wipe that is quite simple. Uh, we'll go back to the SGS and um, just disconnect it for a while. And just go settings, SD card, phone storage, and you'll say USB uh, storage, format USB storage. There you go. That's my internal SD uh, formatted. And now there's nothing inside. Um, this will just mean that I've got no extra folders in there. And obviously I didn't back up any apps, so I don't really care about losing any uh, folders. That's fine by me. As you can see, wiped now. Right, so I'll get back to you guys in just about a couple of minutes. Right, so after you've downloaded it, um, paste it into your internal SD card. And you can go back to the phone now. And close the folder. Unplug the phone. I'll zoom out. <laughs> and what we want to do is go into recovery. So first of all, power off. And this is the non-wipe version. However, I'm going to perform it almost like it's going to be wiped. So I'm going to do another factory reset. Um, although it doesn't really matter because we just already did that. But uh, I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, just uh, for, for you guys to know how to do it. Pretty simple, but yeah. So I'll go into recovery. So what we're going to do is go wipe data factory reset. Wipe the cache. And wipe the Dalvik cache. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And choose the 5.1 no wipe. There we go. I'll get back to you guys after it's done. Right, so after you applied uh, applied 5.1 and rebooted, um, I get a Talon sort of uh, 
mark, uh, trademark, and um, and Voodoo voice comes on, and then I get black screen with like the LEDs on. Do not worry, Dewey says that that's normal, and just go through setup. Let's lose the launcher. Don't use use by default straight away. Because if you use by default straight away, then you're in risk of uh, getting to force close problems. So there you go. It's, a, it's an interesting, interesting theme. White over scroll. There you go. 2.3.4 JVQ, and I'm on the Talon uh, Talon kernel, and as you can see, 5.1 gingerbread. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, uh, please do rate, comment and subscribe uh, if you've enjoyed the video and I will post all the relevant download links in the description so please, please do check them out and also if you've got further questions post them down in the comments or ask on XTA or any other forum that you find this video on. <laughs> right, enjoy guys, take care, bye bye. One final thing guys, um, just to remember is um, if you want to change your CSC, as you can see I'm on Korea at the moment, I've got a video guide for that as well, and I'm going to change mine to XEU if I can find it, it's um, a huge array of them, which is great, uh, there we go, that's XEU, so I'm going to install that. The way to do that is star H272, I don't know what I'm doing my fingers, star H272 star followed by your IEMI number and H, when you do that you'll appear with that screen. I'll link the video um, down in the description as well. reason you do this at the beginning, uh, as said before, um, on my other video is because it does a factory reset. So bear that in mind and um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the ROM. Totally dubbed out. Bye bye.